A friend of mine, when I was living in Michigan, had a TR3, and we spent time fishing for salmon off the piers, and we would take this car. So that's when I first became interested. I liked how low they sat to the ground, and I liked the fact that it was almost like a, a sidecar in a motorcycle. My friend drove, and I was on the side, and it was just a very outdoorsy sports car. It had been stored since 2001. It had not been driven. It's been sheltered for you know almost 20 years. So it kind of took me back right away. I go, maybe this isn't for me. Maybe this is way beyond my pay grade. So we took a look at it. We spent about an hour, hour and a half. We looked over some things and said, this may be something we can go ahead and do. We got it home on October 20th in 2020, and we went to work on it right away. Some of the things we had to do is rebuild the carbs, and then we had to partially rebuild the transmission. We had to do all the brakes. When I was working on this car in my carport, people were walking by because of COVID with kids and such, and kids would stop by and just look at it. And then I just was amazed on the interest people had in this car. If I can't drive around town without the car overheating, uh, I've made a really drastic mistake. So what we did is we record the uh, the radiator and we bought a I think an eight blade fan that keeps the car cooler and that solved that problem. When I started this car I did not feel comfortable. It was totally foreign to me. It was intimidating. I spent a lot of time on the Moss catalog looking at the schematics of various things I was fixing. That was very helpful. And Moss has the shift knob and handbrake grip and I've added both of those onto the car. I think it it gives it a really nice touch. I'm a minimalist, uh, a mid-century modern guy that really likes the furniture, likes the homes, likes the cars. Eichler built about 12,500 of these homes. It was the quintessential California home. You could live inside and outside. And he built atriums in the middle, nice courtyards. All these guys coming back from Europe who fought in World War II were starting to buy affordable homes. They not only liked the minimalist architecture, but they loved those sports cars. So the TR3 and the Eichler home is a perfect blend. It just matches perfectly to my interests. When people walk by and they look at the carport and they look at the house, they actually come and tell me, this car belongs here. It's perfect for your house. My dog, Buddy, loves this car. He walks out, hops into the passenger side, and he'll take a nap. But he's also telling me he's ready to go for a ride. So we go for rides a lot. So in addition to doing errands, I take my dog out for a drive. Dave from British Motorsports tuned it perfectly and the thing flies now.
I use the car for errands, really. Um, and I love it. I, I, I'm okay going to the grocery store. I'm okay going to the pharmacy because I get to drive that car. And what I did not know that I'm experiencing is the amount of interest this car has with people. People put their thumbs up when I drive by. They stop me in the grocery store asking me what year it is. I haven't seen one of these in 50 years. Man, the, you don't see these anymore. So this car is a lot of fun to drive and it's a real attention getter. It's just, it's just fun. <laughs>